Ever feel like your mind's racing a mile a minute, like you just can't hit the brakes? Oh, absolutely. I think we all know that feeling, right? That mental overdrive. Totally. But what if I told you there's a way to hit pause using just your breath and your body? Sign me up. Well, that's exactly what we're diving into today, yoga meditation. I'm so here for this. We've been digging into these excerpts on yoga meditation, and it's fascinating how combining mindful breathing with specific poses can be so powerful for, well, pretty much everything. Stress management, focus, you name it. It's amazing how much impact a few focused minutes can have. We're talking about going from frazzled to grounded, just like that. Right, and I love how our source describes this yoga meditation power combo. Could you break that down for us? What are the key elements at play here? Sure, so think of it like this. Yoga meditation is this awesome trio of things. First off, you've got the breath work, the pranayama. Pranayama, no, that sounds kind of intimidating. I know, right? But it's actually pretty simple. It just means being super aware of your breath, like really tuning into it. It sets the rhythm for your whole practice. Okay, that makes sense. So the breath sets the stage. What's next? Next up, we bring in the asanas. Asana. Fancy word for yoga poses. They're like adding melody and harmony to the mix. Each pose is designed to stretch and strengthen your body in different ways. Got it. So we got the rhythm from the breath, yeah. the movement and strength from the poses. Yeah. What's the final piece of this puzzle? What brings it all together? Ugh, that's where focus quiet comes in. This is where the magic really happens. It's about turning your attention inwards. Noticing your breath, how your body feels, the thoughts that come up. And the key is to observe them without any judgment, you know? Just letting it all be. Exactly. That's how you tap into this deep well of inner peace. That's fascinating. And it actually ties into something else our source talked about, that yoga meditation isn't just about physical flexibility. There are these amazing benefits for our mental state too. Mm -hmm. Reduced anxiety, better focus, even emotional regulation. How does that work? How are those things even connected? It all comes down to the mind-body connection. See, when we practice deep controlled breathing and hold those yoga poses, something really cool happens. It triggers our parasympathetic nervous system. And that is it's the part of our nervous system that's all about rest, relaxation, and digesting. Literally, like when you hear people say rest and digest, they're talking about the parasympathetic nervous system. It's basically hitting the brakes on that fight or flight stress response that we all know too well. Wow. So it's like biologically hitting the reset button on stress. Exactly. And when we calm the nervous system down, it creates all this space for mental clarity and focus. It's amazing how these practices can actually change how our brains function over time. It reminds me of this story our source shared about a guy named Max. He was dealing with some serious presentation jitters. And honestly, haven't we all been there at some point? Oh, for sure. Stage fright is a real thing. But what I found so interesting was how they broke down exactly why yoga meditation helped Max. Max's story is a great example of how this stuff works in the real world. So picture this. Max has a big presentation coming up. He is a nervous wreck, hearts pounding, palms sweating, the works. But this time, he decides to try something different. A few minutes of focused breathing and a grounding yoga pose before he has to get up there. That would have happened. He was able to actually calm his nerves down, just like we were talking about. His heart rate slowed, his focus shifted away from all those what-if anxieties and towards the task at hand. And with that came a surge of confidence. It wasn't about becoming some kind of yoga master overnight. It was about having a tool to regulate his nervous system and walk into that presentation feeling more empowered. That's amazing. It really highlights how practical and accessible this can be for anyone. So I want to ask you listening, where in your life could you use a little more of that calm, that focus that Max discovered? And the beautiful thing is you don't need a fancy studio or hours of free time to tap into these benefits. Even right now, just try this. Sit up a little straighter, feel your feet grounded on the floor, take a few slow, deep breaths, that's it. You've just done a mini yoga practice. I love that. It's like we all have this superpower within us and we can access it anytime, anywhere. So if just a few minutes can make such a difference, imagine the possibilities that open up with a consistent practice. Something to think about as we wrap up this deep dive into the incredible world of yoga meditation.